Okay, so this is a package uh, that I received from HK Now Store. I know what puzzle it is, and I'm real surprised to have received it today because I could have sworn I only ordered this puzzle last Tuesday. So it means that it's only t it's only taken just over a week to arrive all the way over from China, and I'm in the UK. So that's really surprising. But uh, let's open it up. And of course we get the uh, the Calvin fan card. <clears throat> so there is the box, it says cube twist on it. And this is a, a cube twist, nothing else on the box. This is a, um, a cube twist DIY bandage cube, 3x3. Three three. See if I can pull this off without the knife. Yep. This cost me um, eleven pound altogether. It was the cheapest place where I could find one of these. In fact, I think it was. No, it wasn't the only place where I could find one of these. I also found one on Light Take as well. Um, I'm pretty sure I did do, but it was more expensive. So there's the contents, and you get a a cube twist. Uh, puzzle stand there. And inside you get bags with all sorts of uh, different tiles in them. So you can just basically make up your, your own bandage cube. So we've got these small ones and we've got some, some long ones there. And we've got those ones and on some of them, or all of them, it probably won't show up on camera, but it says uh, it's got like cube twist engraved on them. And the textured as well. So that means um, you'd be able to grip them better than if they wasn't textured. There's some more. And there's the last bag. And here is the, the cube itself. Looks like a normal sized 3x3. Three three. So you can see it's got all these little holes in it to, to fit the tiles onto. And it, it turns really nicely. I'm really surprised by how well it turns actually. Uh, let's see what the corner cutting is like. Corner cutting isn't too bad. So what I'll now do is I'll try making up a bandage cube. Um, trick is to to make the cube up so you can at least turn some of the sides because you know um, it is possible to bandage it in such a way by accident that you know um, if you don't if you don't think about what you're doing, um, it is possible to bandage it in such a way that none of the sides turn and then you won't even be able to scramble it. So. Okay, so I thought I'd just cut the video and uh, and use a lamp um, to give the video some better lighting. I've noticed quite a lot of my videos look quite dark, and I've uh, just recently got this uh, this new lamp, so I'll try it out on this video, see if it improves it. So yeah, so let's open up one of these bags. Take some of the pieces out. Let's uh, let's do white first.
so yeah these pieces um, you can take them off again so if you get if you bandage your cube in a certain way and you get bored of it you can just take the pieces off and um, and bandage it in a different way uh, there's, there's loads of pieces there I mean there's there's um, there's enough pieces there to bandage several cubes I think So I've noticed one of these pieces there, uh, it's kind of stained, let's take a look at it. Looks like it's got black staining on it. So I'm not sure if that will wipe off or not, but I'm not even sure if it's showing up that well on camera. Let's do the yellow side. Um, So yeah, I don't want to bandage it too much because if I do bandage it too much I'm not even going to be able to scramble it so okay so that's the yellow and white side done um, let's see what the, the colours go in so Green is to the right of red. Okay, so let's do the red side. Uh, use one of these big pieces. Not even sure if I'm bandaging this in the right way or not. So now we need to do green. Let's not even press that down properly. So I won't use any more bandages now, um, just to make sure that I can properly scramble the cube. And now we need orange. And now blue. So these tiles, they do look like they'll be pretty damn difficult to pry off. Uh, as you can see, when you put them down properly, there's not really any space in there, so you can't really get your fingernail underneath them. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to use to uh, to pry them off. So that's the cube now bandaged. It's got all the tiles on it, and we've still got we've still got all these tiles left. So I'll move those over to one side, and we'll see if we can. Oops, I've not even got it on camera. So I'll see if I can scramble this. Yeah, I can't really scramble it that much. I've probably not really bandaged it in the best way. Um, let's see if I can take this red piece off. So I'm going to have to use this knife. It's probably it's not really going to be the best thing to use. You're going to have to be careful just in case you do damage the plastic. But it's like, I really can't think of anything else that's thin enough that I could use.
yeah, this is proven to be quite difficult to get off. But maybe over time, you know, from use, they may, they may loosen up more, they may end up being easier to, to pull off. Oops, as you can see the centerpiece has, has come off with it. So let's just replace that with single red tiles. Scramble it again. So there you have it, a scrambled, not press some of them in properly, but there you have it, a scrambled um, bandaged cube. I'm obviously not going to bother with trying to solve this on camera because I've not even got a clue about where I should even start to be honest but yeah so there you go that's the uh, the Cube Twist DIY bandaged 3x3 um, I got it from HK Now Store and it cost me £11 altogether um, I'm not sure if that included the shipping or whether the shipping was free but yeah that's pretty much it, so thanks for watching.